Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we would like to share the Poisson distribution in SPAS. Consider the random variable x follows Poisson distribution with lambda equal to 2.5. Let's start with the x values. Instead of typing the value one by one, we can make use of Excel. The minimum value that x can take is zero, while the maximum is infinity. Click on the number that we type, go to fill, look for series. Since Poisson distribution is a discrete type distribution, so we should take step value of 1. We should generate the value by column, decide a stop value since we don't have upper limit. So maybe we can stop at 20. Click on OK and we already have the series. Press Shift Ctrl down to select, Ctrl C to copy. Back to SPS and we just have to paste the value. Go to variable view, change the number format. We can decrease the decimal to zero and rename as X. And now we can proceed to generate the probability. Go to transform, look for compute variable. Target variable, we can type probability. And we just have to look for the probability distribution function under the function group PDF. Look for Poisson up. The first question mark is the x value. Insert. The second is the lambda value, which is the mean 2.5. Click on OK and we should obtain the probability distribution. We can go to variable view. Increase the decimal if we need. Back to data view, as we can see, the number of decimal places already increases. Let's generate the cumulative distribution. Go back to transform, compute variable, change the darker variable to cumulative. Delete the numeric expression that we previously typed. Now we should look for cumulative density function, the CDF, look for Poisson R. First question mark x, second question mark the mean value 2.5. Click on OK and we should obtain the cumulative distribution. Also, we can go to variable view to change the number format. We can increase the decimal point if we want. Back to data view as we can see here. We can also create bar charts for this probability distribution. First, go to data, weight cases. We should weight by the probability. Click on OK. It's already weighted. We can now create the bar chart. Go to graphs. Look for legacy dialogues bar. Simple bar. Define. Move the X value to category exit. Click on titles if you want to insert title. Click on continue and click on OK. And we should obtain the bar chart for the distribution as we can see here. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.